what's up guys today i'm gonna be unboxing and uh, doing a quick review of fragrance tubo oud noir intense and uh, giving you a brief comparison uh, on two similar fragrances that is storm ford's oud wood and tamin's carved oud uh, so first let's just get to the unboxing then i'll just go through what the fragrance is like uh, so i got this box this is a 50 ml ftb uh, this is the batch number for anyone who is interested. Uh, so there's the actual box comes inside this box. It's pretty much basic cardboard box. Put that aside. Uh, this is the real box. It says fragrance to wall. Luxury fragrance is redefined. It has a, a FDB logo throughout. It's a gold border on the top. Again, fragrance to wall. Uh, I think this is the batch code out here, made in the UK, and you know, other uh, information or whatever you may require. So as far as I know, FDB does not comply with, uh, you know, uh, IFRA regulations. So this is a completely, I think, natural based fragrance, like at least the wood in this is supposed to be uh, natural so yeah the naturals in this the natural ingredients in this is quite high quality and uh, you know it's mostly natural uh, anyhow let's get into the unboxing so this just slides off nothing in here so this is how it comes again <clears throat> nothing here very nice box uh, very premium feeling Nothing on top, bottom, anywhere, just this uh, FTV. Uh, I think it's a metal black. It's all very velvety. I'm not sure how good it comes across, but yeah, it's very soft indeed. So this seems to have some kind of a magnet. Just opens up like so. You get a card. Fragrance to Dua. Some random information. If you want to read it, just pause about the brand, I suppose. So apparently this presentation uh, box, that's this box is handcrafted according to this. So yeah, nice touch. Uh, nothing else out here. This is how your fragrance comes. It's a 50 ml bottle. It's quite a heavy bottle for a 50 ml. Let's put this to the side. Let's see, it's uh, very padded, very soft indeed. Quite nice premium experience. Uh, let's just put this to the side as well. So coming to the bottle, this is what the presentation is like. This is a metal plaque. Stuck on quite well. It's the color of the juice. Uh, fragrance is info, I suppose. Yep. Do not directly spray or spray or do fab fabric. Uh, An original perfume by Fragrance Jugua, apparently. <laughs> Although I would uh, beg to differ, I'll get into why very soon. So there is this crystals here uh, on the cap itself. This is the FDB logo, and as far as I know, Roja and FDB use the same supplier for their bottles, so it's quite similar to a Roja bottle if you've handled one. Yeah, nothing in here. Pressurized atomizer, I suppose. Yep, let's just do a tiny spray. It's pressurized. Oh, it's such a nice fragrance. So, uh, so I'm making a review right away because uh, although I just got the bottle, this is the travel sprayer of the same fragrance. Uh, Wood Noir Intense. Right? So I've used quite a bit of it. And I know what it's like. Uh, so first off, right off the bat, I will warn you that, you know, just don't spray this onto your clothes because it's made of natural ingredients. And as you can see, it's like a very dark color, especially light colored clothes. It is going to stain for sure. So just avoid that. Uh, so we've seen the presentation for this, right? Uh, just as a reminder, let's check out the presentation for Tamin's Carved Dude. 
just a pretty basic presentation by comparison not that uh, you know the presentation should matter but whatever i just put it in the box so that uh, you know we can get a good idea as to the differences in the presentation i mean you get what you pay for so this has quite a bit of dent in it 50 ml of this is about 100 ml of this price wise and of course the original tom ford would would another basic presentation so the cap on this is magnetic which is the best among the three and uh, this is a basic plastic cap worst of the three but then it's also the cheapest but not by a huge margin the sprayer on this sucks as well i mean it's not horrible but then you don't get what you're paying for this is a pressurized atomizer as well and i think the newer patches come with a thermine logo on the atomizer all the mine is a bit of an older batch so you know this does not have the logo but i've seen pictures with the you know a logo on top now <clears throat> the reason i uh, said that you know i doubt very much that this is true because i know what this is these three are very very similar let's just be uh, very clear about it so according to you know, fragrantica this has top notes of cardamom and bergamot i don't get any bergamot uh it has mid notes of uh, rose and jasmine it has oud musk saffron sandalwood patchouli amber and vanilla in the base that's the note listing let me just tell you what i get right off the bat so yeah the cardamom is definitely present in all three of them i can give you that much right away this is a clone of oud wood there's no two ways about it uh if you want to put it mildly it's inspired by fragrance of oud wood uh but i don't know <clears throat> it's too i mean all three of these are way too close to you know just call it an inspired by fragrance yes they have their differences but they are so minute that you know if you're smelling it in the air it's very hard to pick out what it is you're smelling uh, i think uh, between these three the easiest to pick out is this but if you're just like spraying it right off the bat it's this because uh, this has natural wood and uh, you can tell it's natural because uh, it has this uh, how do i put it um skankiness in the in the opening uh, i'm not sure what kind of wood tamin is using i think they've listed it as indian wood or something like that uh, but the skankiness is definitely missing from this which is a good thing uh, i mean i'm not a fan of it uh, if you are then uh, good for you i suppose i you know which one of the three to go that's this this of course has no skankiness at all so between the three this comes off the most woody yeah this comes off the most woody uh this is a masterpiece of course uh, i love this fragrance and uh, so between these two this is quite similar to wood wood uh, throughout the thing is this has a layer of uh, the mid portion wherein this uh, uh, the carved wood just gets this you know um cardamom layer between the top and the dry down and that's just fantastic i just love the way that smells now coming to the wood not intense uh, so what this does is this has this uh, skanky wood so i have the dry down on this hand Yeah this has the skanky wood right off the bat it doesn't last very long but then uh you know you can pick out that it's high quality the bottle is good quality and all that uh other than that uh i'm not sure what it is in this fragrance uh so it has this note of jasmine so i'm not sure if uh it is uh the note of jasmine playing with the wood in this but uh, the dry down is very uh smooth So between the three, I think the smoothest is carved wood because it lacks that skankiness of the top. Quality-wise, I think uh, these two are quite comparable. Uh, however, it's not like uh, wood wood is like very far off. It's it's almost here, you know. This is like uh, if you if you rate this a nine out of ten, these are going to be ten out of ten for you. So the thing is, uh, if you like this, you can definitely buy carved wood for sure. Uh, chances are most likely you will like it. 
the question is with this one so this is not exactly a safe blind buy uh as i was saying the note of jasmine i mean you definitely get the wood in this and uh, the note of jasmine plays with the note of wood. i think it is the jasmine but uh so the fragrance comes off somewhat uh, milky um especially that cardamom in there uh so if you smelled uh, starlight by zojov it is it is uh cardamom of that high quality but there's something somewhat milky about it which is not exactly bad i quite like it makes it very smooth and uh, it's not like one note sticks out uh, you know compared to the others it's very very well blended but i can see people not liking that milky quality that this has um yeah that's about it i think so in the dry down the wood becomes very woody i mean the skankiness goes off and uh, it becomes very woody musky i think uh, all the three have very similar dry downs so i mean take your pick depending on what you want if you want the cardamom to pop more this is what you want to go for if you want it to be just woody this is what you already want to go for uh whereas this if you like uh, your fragrance being smooth and somewhat milky in nature uh this is what you want to go for and of course if you like naturals and uh if you want that skankiness in your wood fragrances this is the one you should go for um so longevity wise and projection wise so this definitely has the worst projection uh on my skin it's not exactly terrible this is a 2021 batch tom ford wood uh it's not uh, a beast mode fragrance per se but then again uh it's it's a moderate projector by comparison this is quite a bit better again this is not a beast mode fragrance i mean neither is this but then you know uh cr wise these two are going out and just beat this any day of the week uh projection wise i think these two are quite comparable perhaps the wood noir intense is slightly better uh this is going to leave the best cr surprisingly longevity wise of course this it's not surprised this uh, this is the weakest it lasts on my skin for about five and a half hours or so which is not bad um but you know with something that has oot in the name you would want it to last longer and uh, between these two surprisingly this lasts longer on my skin um it's very close between it's a toss up between this and this so this lasts on me for about uh, let's say around six and a half seven hours and this lasts for like eight hours or so uh, you keep getting wafts of this uh, both of these throughout the day and uh, this one in particular has that milky effect in the uh, perfume you pick out siage wise i think this is going to leave a better siage because you know it's a more natural fragrance but uh, i think this is the best way to go because it balances out uh, the let's say the mass appeal of this with the natural ingredients in this it costs exactly in between and uh, i just absolutely love the cardamom in this it's not the thing in the thing is the cardamom in all three of these is quite different perhaps uh, that is the main difference between these three funnily enough so the cardamom in this is like if you if you didn't mention that this has cardamom like you wouldn't know and this has cardamom it's just a note listed so it's a supporting note in this of course it plays its part but then it's uh, not exactly uh, you know huge uh, this thing role player in the fragrance uh, the cardamom in this is uh, like i said it smells very natural and i don't know why it is it's very similar to zerge of starlight uh, the just the cardamom note it's it's somewhat milky uh but the cardamom in this is just to die for it's just fantastic it's a it's a separate thing of its own it's, it's somewhat very it's a higher quality cardamom uh it's a higher quality take on cardamom similar to the one done in uh, la nuit de l'homme so you know if i'm saying that uh, you know how good this is right so yeah price wise this is right in the middle the 100 ml of this is going to cost about as much as a 50 ml of this roughly 
and just a bit more than 50 ml of this i'm not sure what this goes for anymore because tom ford pricing have has uh, gone out of uh, you know hands uh, personally if you ask me to choose between my favorite to worst uh, i think i would keep all of them on the same level like if i rate uh, say i rate my top uh, five fragrances and if even one of them comes i think i could just put them interchangeably but between the three carb dude is my favorite for sure um then it is uh would not intense followed by tom ford so if i had to rate them i would rate this a 10 out of 10 there's no doubt about it good presentation good uh, value magnetic cap fantastic spread on both of these good i think the the only thing i don't like about this is the bottle uh, all of the thamine bottles you know look the same and they come in this blue Henri Noir type bottle, which I'm not a huge fan of. But it's become iconic somewhat, I suppose. So yeah, that is a 10 out of 10. This is these two, perhaps. Uh, let's go with the 9.5 out of 10. Again, fantastic presentation, good sprayer, great quality ingredients and all that. I'm not a fan of the this uh, crystal thick cap thing. Uh, just looks a little weird to me. I don't know why. Um, and this is like a 9.25 out of 10. Perhaps if, uh, you know, this had better performance, it would be a tie with this. Either way, I mean, you cannot go wrong with either of these. Um, just take your pick depending on... If you can, just try them out and, you know, decide uh, which one you like best. Is it redundant to own all three? uh yeah i'd say so but then again if you love the dna then yeah they all have the nuances so you know you can just try them out or just uh, get the carb dude i'd say if you just want to get one get the carb dude but of course yeah you may want to try out depending on uh, what you like in your fragrances so that's about it i'd say um hope you like the video hope it was informative and uh Hope it, I shed some light on uh, these fragrances. So that's about it. Uh, I hope it wasn't too long. Like and subscribe. Peace out.